Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Maid. And yeah, I can't seem to get rid of the silly flickering that happens, so I apologize for that. But that's just the way it goes when you play something like this. So anyways, so what's been happening? Well, this is the interior of our base that we have. So I'm going to kind of go down this way. This is uh, kind of like the entranceway. I put cargo pods here. Hopefully they will show th through the glass. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. And uh, let's go here. Why can't I open this? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, here we have, of course, our rails, all that fun stuff. And we have our elevator that goes up and down here. That's not the cool stuff. The cool stuff is going to be actually back this way. So I've been kind of busy, been kind of working on the inside of this. So here we go. Oof, here we go. Look at that. This is our cargo hold area here. I blocked that area off. I put a build block here. In here we have our factory level, which we're not quite done with. So let's kind of take a quick peek here. In here, we're going to have all the cargo pods here. I put the lighting down here inside. Kind of, you did the interior like this, kind of slanted inside. I kind of like how that looks. And then here I needed a corner piece of glass. So let's get our interface back up. And yes, you see heavy load because unfortunately I'm uploading a video as I'm doing this. So I should have glass. Here we go. So let's fix this. Uh, let's actually do this within the build block. I'm not sure where the build block will place me. Let's see here. Boom. Okay. Not too shabby. Perfect. Okay. So we need this corner piece here. I think I already have it, so I just need to kind of see in the top right hand corner in the advanced thingy, thingy of boober. Let's see here. Uh, like that. Bang. Okay, there you go. Actually, that will work out quite nicely since it's kind of then filled in. And okay, cool. Here we go. So this place is practically done i do want to replace where this is i don't want it on the the inside here so let's see here so what i suggest for all of you people um, all of you that watch this i appreciate you are you watching this uh, i would um, suggest to all of you to just visit all the other star squadron members you know i do have them all down in the description I have them all where you can kind of you click on their links and then you can check them out definitely check them out because you know they all have some really good content really good builds uh, just you great experienced players you great community of players and so yeah <laughs> so now we're what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be placing these like this maybe we can do one two three uh, maybe we can actually do a bigger, uh, let's use these build tools a little bit, 10, is that, actually that should be okay, 10, so it looks like the, it's 12 across, so if I left click to place, so 10, so that's um, 10, 11, so yeah, so it'll be 12 blocks. It seems okay so with that in mind let's go back up here let's go 11 12 and there we go bang bang <laughs> you know what I don't have the roof done in here <laughs> oh boy yeah and then I think we then want to do just put this back to one and then we can actually go for like this and then place the rest going boom 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 okay maybe we want to just kind of place not as much and then maybe like that maybe just a little access here to the inventory, maybe we can even, just like that, we just need to see the inventory. We can even stack it right up. We could feel claustrophobic, but that's okay. 
Uh, yeah, we can fill this right up, this one right up. So really, it's just these two, these four spaces here, not too shabby. Okay, cool. Let's go out of connection mode. Let's check this out. So this will have 33,000 units. You can deactivate storage pull. Now, I'm thinking of putting buttons into all of these. So what am I talking about? So I'm, I'm basically saying, ooh, I should have done that before. Shucks. I was basically thinking of putting basic buttons beneath here to control them pulling and not. Uh, but I guess we can do that you know, with that expansion as we need it. So so here's the cargo space. That's complete. So now I can probably pull all the stuff f from up above and bring it down to here. Because in here, this is going to be all the factory stuff. So I've kind of started here. I started to remove squares because... I kind of want to have a feel. I want to put the storage of this kind of production facility down here, and I'm kind of I'm kind of trying to think how how I want to distribute the storage, right? So, like, you know, I'm gonna have my main storage there. I'm gonna pull raw materials into here probably, and then each one of these is going to you know, use you know the materials that are here which then I'll probably have to store them somewhere else, maybe in behind or, I don't know, maybe beside these. But each of these is like a production zone, and I was going to go ahead straight th uh, this way and kind of carry on all the way down this way for production zones. That's what I was thinking of doing, just making a room here, just you know, one on each side and just a long column. I'm just kind of trying to think of how to organize it. I might put storage up above as well, so below... And then right above here, so that, you know, that we could access maybe just for some uh, symmetry. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Yeah. Seems pretty cool idea. But yeah, but this is where the factory is going to be. And and if we kind of go down this way, I just have like the end of the hallway. Kind of try to decorate the hallway. I haven't done anything with this wall because I'm not too sure. So I've left it flat. I might kind of when you etch it out like this. That's kind of up in the air. Here, if you notice, I've added some details. I've added some you know, decorative blocks in here. That's I think that's pretty cool. I really like that. And then down this way, there is basically kind of carry on this. And I thought, oh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to go down this hallway. Right? So, yeah. And I don't know if I want to put extra doors in here you know, for extra access. And that's kind of like up in the air about that as well. So yeah, so this is what I've been doing. And soon we're going to have massive production through here. I'm going to use each of these to build, I think, you know, one of these might be building the gray hulls. And then the other one might start to do all the paints. And then we might have all the hulls on the one side. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Just want some basic production of some basic hulls. And then we can work from there and just move the the stuff around the the whole plate here so i imagine we'll put production facilities all throughout and yeah so thank you everybody for watching it's kind of like a short episode but yeah i can't wait for jace and all of them to kind of visit and I can't wait to kind of give them a small tour here you know, in person so i can't wait to hook this up with my ship i want to do that i'll do that probably in the next episode Probably kind of finish off the shift a bit, maybe add some extra engines on it, because we're going to have to put more advanced armor on it, and yeah, so yeah. So this is, I'm digging this game, you know, it's, it's basically Minecraft in space, and you know, I miss the Minecraft. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye bye!